This should prove to be fun. Systems of equations, three variables, x, y, and z. My equations are x plus y plus z equals 10. Then I have z is equal to x plus y. Then I have x is equal to y, z over 2. What are the values of x, y, and z? Let's look at it. z is equal to x plus y. I can bring that right over here and focus on the first equation. I know z, which is x plus y, plus z is equal to 10, 2z is equal to 10, and z is equal to 5, and we have that solved. Now focus right here at this. x here is equal to yz over 2, and I know z is 5, so I'll say 5y over 2. I'll bring that right over here along with the value of z. I have here a 5y over 2 plus y plus 5 is equal to 10. I brought these items here into the first equation. You push this 5 on the other side and you do fraction algebra, you're looking here at a 7y over 2 is equal to a 5. And y is equal to 10 over 7. And we have y solved. How can we determine the value of x? You bring everything right over here, your value of y. You know y is equal to 10 over 7. x here is equal to 5 times 10 over 7 divided by 2. What do we have? I have here a 25 over 7. That's my value of x. So let's bring these items in. We know x here is equal to 25 over 7. We know y is equal to 10 over 7. We know z is equal to 5. But you see how everything here is over 7s in terms of the denominators. But the value of z is not. We can write this in a standard uniform format as saying 35 over 7, which is equal to 5 x is equal to 25 over 7, y is equal to 10 over 7, and z is equal to 35 over 7 or 5, and these will be your correct answers. If you want to present your answer in a different way, you can. You can say 1 over 7 parentheses, then you put in the value of x, y, and z. It will be 25, comma, 10, comma, 35. This here is another way. 1 over 7 times the value of x, y, and z, which is equivalent to what you see over here. Everything is completed.